In this lesson, we are going to learn about basic math and JavaScript. Using arithmetic operators, you can perform basic math on numeric values in your program. We can use operators to solve math equations and build functions to perform common calculations. Let's go over basic math operators in JavaScript. To add, we use the plus sign. To subtract, we use the minus sign. To multiply, we use an asterisk. To divide, we use a slash. For exponents, we use two asterisks. For modulus, we use a percent sign. Modulus returns the remainder of dividing two numbers. For example, 17 modulus or mod 5 is equal to 2. Why? 5 fits into 17 three times, but there is 2 left over. Modulus returns the remainder, so the answer is 2. It is very common in programming to want to add 1 or subtract 1 from a variable. For example, you may want to create a counter that increases by 1 for each point or a countdown that decreases by 1 for every second. To increment means to increase the value of the variable by 1. To do this, we reassign the variable to itself in add 1. The shorthand version of this is to write the name of the variable and follow it by two plus signs. To decrement means to decrease the value of the variable by 1. To do this, we can reassign the variable to itself minus 1, or we can take a shortcut and write the name of the variable followed by two minus signs. But what if we wanted to add, subtract, multiply, divide by a value other than one? We would reassign the value to the arithmetic equation. For example, if we wanted to increase x by y, we would write x equals sign x plus y. These equations can also be written in shorthand. For example, if you wanted to increase the variable x by y, we could have written x plus equals y. There are many useful constants used in mathematics, like pi. These values are a single universally accepted value. Similarly, we can create constants in our programs. In programming, a constant is a variable that's value cannot be changed through reassignment. JavaScript supports creating constants. To declare a const variable, use the const keyword followed by the variable name. It is convention to write the variable name of a constant in all uppercase letters. In JavaScript, const variables must be assigned a value when they are declared. To make constants accessible from the main function and other functions we declare in our program, we define constants at the top of the program outside of the main function. Great, now let's explore some examples that use these operators in constants. Let's write an example program. Let's create a simple calculator that will ask a user to enter two integers and then calculate their sum. Let's start by getting input from the user and storing it in two variables. Next, Let's create a variable called sum, and then assign it the sum of first and second. And lastly, we'll return the value of sum by using console.log. If I were to run this program and enter two for the first number and three for the second number, I would expect the sum five to appear on the screen. So this program is working correctly.